Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I want to show you how to create a really cool text reveal effect using Greensock and Tailwind CSS. So you can see here in front of us, if we load this page, we get this cool text reveal effect. It says awesome sauce because animations are awesome. So let's go ahead and jump into it and I'll show you how simple it is to create these text reveal animations. Okay, let me show you how simple it is to create that text reveal animation using Tailwind CSS and the Greensock library. I'm going to open up my code editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code, and I'm going to create a blank HTML document. So let's give this a title of Tailwind CSS text reveal animation. And I do have a snippet and what this snippet does is it basically adds a container with a full width, a full height of the screen, and then we center the content. And then we have an H1 element with an ID of text, and it has some large text, and it's also bold as well. If I were to view this in the browser, you can see that we have the awesome sauce here, but it's actually not using the Tailwind CSS library, so we need to include the CDN in our project. Okay, so reloading, you can see now that the Tailwind CSS classes have been applied, looks a little bit nicer. Next, we need to break each of these characters into their own element. So I'm going to do that using a library called split type. So if you just search for split type JS, that should be the first result. And instead of installing this with NPM, I want to add the CDN link. So I can just search for CDN, simple enough. I can copy this and pop that in the head of the document. Next, I'm going to add some JavaScript to the bottom of the page. And I'm going to create a new variable, call this text, and I want this to have a new split type, and I need to pass the ID, which is text. So if I save that and go back to the page and reload this, it looks exactly the same. But if we open up the developer tools, we can see inside of this div and inside of the H1, every single line is broken up into its own div. Every word is broken up into its own div and every character is inside of its own div element. So what we're going to do is we are going to loop through each of these characters and we want to apply the Tailwind class of translate Y full. So we want to kind of have it sit a little bit lower on the Y axis. And that's pretty simple. Let's go ahead and get all the characters with a simple document query selector all. Then we want to loop through each of the characters and we want to apply that translate Y full class to each of the elements. Okay, and if we jump back over to our page, let's close out the developer tools and reload. You can now see that the text sits quite a bit lower on the Y axis. And then we are going to include the Greensock library to animate each of these characters up. So head on over to greensock.com. Make sure to go through their tutorials, their documentation. Uh, it's very well put together. I'm surprised that it's taken me this long to get into this animation library because it is super, super cool. So heading over to the docs, I'm going to go to the installation section and we can install this by including a CDN link. And then you can also install a lot of their plugins. A lot of them I will probably be creating a video later on down the road because they are just super duper cool. So the next step is we want to animate each of these characters or each of these divs from this specific location to another location. So I know that the method that I want to use inside of the GSAP library is the GSAP2 method. These are the three most common methods for creating an animation tween, which is gsap.2, from, and from to. So we are going to animate a specific element to a specific state. So we can apply the Y position, scale position, opacity, and any other kind of CSS property that we want to apply to it. Let's go ahead and do that now. So inside of this object, we are going to specify the properties that we want to animate this element to. So we're going to say that we want this to go to a Y position of zero 
and we also want to stagger the animation. So I'll say 0.05, .05. and we also want to have a little delay in between the animations, so we'll say delay 0 0.02, and we want the duration to be half a second. Okay, we'll save that, go back to our page and reload, and check it out. It was that simple to create a cool animation that just makes the user experience so much better. So the final step that we probably want to do is, is we want to have a CSS clip path so that way we don't see the text when it is at the starting position. Go ahead and Google CSS clip path, and we just need to get a simple polygon shape. So this should do, we have triangle, we have all these different shapes. We basically just need a square. So we'll select that trapezoid and we'll move it over. And let's copy this and just add this as an inline style. So we'll say style equals, and we'll paste that in. Now going back to the document, let's reload and check it out. How cool is that? We've just added a simple animation using Tailwind CSS and Green Sock. And you can see that these animations will really make one page stand out over another. And it's super easy to create these animations with Green Sock. I definitely recommend checking out their website and all their documentation. As I said, I will probably be creating more videos on how we can integrate Tailwind and GreenSock together to create some awesome animations. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in a future video.